Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Settlement Survival. In the first episode, we managed to get everyone into a house. Uh, despite these people walking around looking homeless, uh, they do have a house. And they're going to recognize that in just a moment. That's a bug in the game. I'm, uh, I'm hoping that'll be fixed. Um, we also found the flax seed, which was uh, really nice. There is three seeds that we can gather that we're looking for, and flax was one of them, so I was happy about that. And we used our first tech point to uh, double the out point, output of our uh, school for tech points, which was a, a point well spent, I think. In this episode, you can already see that our health is suffering, so we need to uh, get this uh, clinic unlocked which is gonna have a small effect on that. What do we need? We need lumber, which we have, stone and iron. We have all of that. We also have four builders, which we don't need. I'm gonna go ahead and keep three on. One can keep working on the roads and then the other two will hopefully uh, jump on that clinic and get it built. What else do we have going on? I thought, yeah, there is a hide the trees real quick there is a seed spot over here so while it's still warm out what are we in may we're gonna go ahead and uh have somebody come out here and gather plants we'll increase priority so it gets done because uh, they have a, a huge amount that i uh queued up for them for the last episode okay so we have the clinic being built which is going to help our health we're going after that seed. Uh, I think we should go after these alpaca. Um, our farm is not going to be sufficient uh, a sufficient food source. Uh, and I do not go heavy into farming uh, early game. I think it's... Uh, it's... It, it's not needed. Um, I would rather have somebody hunting and having the potential to bring back animals for us and leather, feather, and a pack of wool. Uh, that seems like a better use of our time. Um, I'd rather gather food while we're still looking for some free wild seeds that we can get. So, uh, so yeah. So what do we... Uh, this is gonna be a housing block. So that I want to be 18. And then we'll connect that there. And if there's room, I usually like to just shoot off the hunter off this side because we already have um, this house in place here where people can go to get warm. So it makes sense to put a hunter over here for me. Uh, the fact that we have a palka right there just, you know, makes it even better. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. We're going to be catching alpaca, so we're going to need a pasture. I wouldn't usually build this um, so soon, but I believe we're going to need it. Uh, what is this? We don't want, we want this to be small. Uh, seven by eight will kind of fill in that spot, I think. I'm pressing uh, R to rotate the entrance to this uh, pasture. Although I believe they can enter from all sides and they'll pick whatever one's better. Do I want to leave a space? I think maybe I do. Um, I have a, a our marketplace uh, a design uh, penciled in. It's not an exact science. It's just to, uh, and it's gonna change. It changes depending on the map. Um, it's really to help in the future when we upgrade buildings like I can put a school here and a school here and I know in the future when we unlock um, the Academy this 10 by 6 building I can delete those two schools and an Academy is gonna fit in when I put um, four houses down here um, I can delete these four houses and where are they at and a, a row of villas, garden villas, will fit in. So 
this layout that I have kind of works as a template that helps me not to forget things because I can look and say, oh, wait, that should be there. So it's always the same with that way. So it, it helps in that regard early. Um, but then later on, it just helps me convert this over to an end game town. Uh, we don't want that being built. What are you short, stone? Did we get these seeds over here? Did we get a seed? No. Well, that stinks. I guess it is what it is. Yeah, the seed collecting point is gone and we didn't get a pop-up. That stinks. Um, so we need stone and iron. So let's, um, let's queue that up next and let's increase priority over here a little bit so we can get that stone in in order to finish building the hunter's cabin. Now you'll see we have a uh, food water and 40 fuel left so we're gonna go ahead and put in a house and where we're placing these houses are kind of strategic we have a place down here where people can warm up when people are in the clinic uh, none of the service buildings or workplaces are heated in this game um, so they'll get cold and they'll need to go warm up uh, so we our students and our uh, sick people have a house right nearby and hopefully that'll prevent some deaths <laughs> So where else I would like a house is up at the top of this map here And this is as far as we can get it so we're gonna go ahead and put that house there now we want to get everyone in houses as soon as possible because uh, They can't have children in the boarding house, boarding house or uh, an apartment as they're labeling it but it's really not an apartment they can't have uh, children in here and students when they grow up they won't leave their parents house and move into the what they're calling an apartment so to me that doesn't make sense it's a boarding house um but that's neither here nor there <laughs> it's a good game i like this game a lot don't let any of my comments uh, make you think otherwise. Okay, so our clinic is up and the clinic gives a bonus 20% uh, to health. So hopefully our health is gonna start uh, coming up here in a bit with uh, some judicious use of herbs and uh, the clinic that should take care of itself soon. Maybe if we went a little faster, it would happen faster. And we're building the hunter's cabin, which is going to help with our food. And we decided that we should probably build a pen for any, for those alpaca down there that we might not get. But it doesn't hurt. Uh, we need a pasture. I just wouldn't usually build them this early. But I'm never this close to animals either, so. Uh, yeah, that'll be work. That'll fit in that spot. You can go ahead and use R to rotate the buildings around. So we're going to put that to the front. Although they can enter in through any sides of these pens, so it's not a big deal. And since we have that there, let's, uh, let's just put a small stockpile back there for those guys fill in the space now we have this is a feature that I really like up here um, there is this tells you uh, what events are happening and we know that a merchant ship is on the way we are so far away from having a trading post <laughs> that, that that is not even a concern to me um, but we are concerned um, immigrants will show up on here and in order to accept immigrants you need to have your town hall up and running uh, so that is something that we want to place and where I put that is I usually just run a road to the edge of the map whichever edge is closest and so I'm probably gonna put our town hall right up here but there we go we have four technology points um, 
and we are going to continue to go all in with our education first strategy. So we are going to uh, max out this education tree in order to get the final passive bonus. So boom, boom, boom. And this is what we are looking for right now that we can use. Advanced research, um, proficiency rate growth by 25%. What that means is that the points over here that tick up, they happen 25% faster, uh, which is not a bad thing. We have our hands full. We have more buildings that we need to build uh, than we can. More buildings, not enough people to staff them. Uh, so this is, I think, a good use of our points. Now, I used to uh, go down the apiary route right here. Wood and herbs are something that you're always short on. Um, and I know a lot of people do this strategy because I posted it on the Steam forums. Um, you can, what I used to do was max out these, this tree. So I had forest farms available, which is produce a lot of wood. I had the ability to uh, build nurseries and I could find an herb seed. So I'd have people in the nurseries and working the forest farms. Uh, it was great in that it filled those two needs, herbs and wood, but it was really labor intensive and labor is the one thing that we don't have early game. So I am much happier uh, with the route that we're taking right now. And uh, you can see for yourself how it works out, whether you get better results with whatever you do. You know, um, since we have this house up here, I, why don't they have fuel? Go get fuel. <laughs> Come on, people. Oh, we have the hunter built too. Okay, we want to max out our hunters. They're gonna, they're providing food for us, so uh, get it done. Next, we're gonna go ahead and build the church, but we need 80 lumber, stone, and iron which we do not have any of that. So uh, let's let them take care of that. And where do we want to take trees from? I guess right around this house would be a good spot. And I was really hoping, let's increase the speed of this. I'm hoping they're putting a, there we go. Okay, so now anyone working up here can get warm. Oh, and the hunter did find an alpaca. Nice, so we have an alpaca, and this is being built. Yeah, just like we knew would happen. We're collecting the stone. Now, I'm not going to staff this right now. Let's change this out to, to a patha. Uh, I'm not gonna staff this right now um, because I really don't think that we have the people. And in fact, we do want the hunter cabin up and running. But for right now, I really wanna get things built and we just had someone who got injured. <laughs> Lovely. So I'm gonna close both of these things. We're gonna open them back up. But for right now, I mean, it's a juggling act and I mean, you got to pick your priorities, and I'm prioritizing getting our town uh, more set up. Let's, uh, since we do have builders, though, one, I'm going to reduce our builders down to two, because we're running out of people here. And let's get some of more of our buildings in. We're going to need, oh, we got a technology point, too. Let's slow this down. Um, our next technology point, we are going to uh, unlock the grocery store. We want the grocery store um, in order to sell a thousand gold or a thousand silver worth of coins. Uh, we want that thousand silver on hand for when the traveling merchant uh, wanders by. So. We are going for the grocery store. We also want to start accumulating coins in order to buy herbs. Um, earlier we said that herbs were an issue and you were always short on them. 
I'm not putting the points in this, uh, but we do need to bring in herbs. And gathering isn't going to be sufficient for long. So our grocery store is serving two purposes. One, it's we're going to have money on hand for when the traveling merchant uh, arrives, hopefully. And two, uh, we can buy anything that we're short, like herbs. And I have a spot for those buildings, so uh, let's get them. The grocery store goes right here. The repair shop goes right here. I guess we should pause those until after the church is built, since we don't have the materials. Who's freezing? Don't know. Oh, who's injured? Freezing. Okay, this is just a foot fracture. That's not deadly. But if they, what, break their ankle or something like that, that'll kill them in the wintertime, potentially. So it's a pretty high pop probability. So going super slow here. We want those gathered. Um, do I want to try build a road out here? Is that foolish? You know what, we're not going to build. I'm going to put a forester up here and the town hall and a graveyard. But we're not going to bother to do that right now because uh, it's the middle of winter. What are you, crazy? What else do we need to build? Now in these two spots right here, we're going to put a blacksmith, the smithy. Uh, they're renaming everything, so I'm, I'm calling this stuff by its, the wrong names. Uh, we don't need tools uh, right now, but we're going to pretty shortly. And the other thing that we're going to put up here is the tailor. The only thing is, the only thing that this tailor can make that we're interested in is rough clothes. That's what people are wearing right now. And they are better than nothing, but not much better than nothing. And I'm, I'm just not, I'd rather people go naked than put in this first tier tailor shop. So we're gonna wait until we unlock weaving, I believe it is for the advanced tailor. And we'll go ahead and put the advanced tailor in once we unlock it. Okay, so those buildings are paused. Uh, everyone has gathered those supplies. The church is being built. And... Well, I guess we need more wood. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, never, never enough wood. We gathered that. We have a house right up here, so yeah, let's let's take this stuff down, and then it'll be right around where we need it. And we'll build both of these. We don't need the repair shop right now. Um, well, actually, I say that, but it's already year two, so yeah, we do need the repair shop. The time flies. I can't believe it's February already. And we didn't pick up any other seeds, right? That is, we do want seeds, so we need to, uh, we need to queue up some plant gathering as well. And we don't really have enough food, so let's send out the hunters as well. Gotta do it. Okay, March is here. And the only thing that we have are chili peppers. We're gonna do, we're gonna do flax. Um, the chili peppers, the vegetable harvests, um, they don't produce that much food. And we are going to want to gather herbs and other plants on the ground for, to, for the chance to find better seeds. And we have the hunters, so yeah. We're gonna, instead of growing food, we're gonna grow 
uh, flax, which is something we can use to make clothes. So uh, yeah, do that. Do that, please. Uh, it's really a, a juggling act here. We're trying to get all of the essentials set up. We have some food, we have some water, we have built all of the shelter that we can. And we have another technology point, and that brings to the last thing we're not producing. We need fuel. Once we start uh, producing fuel, we can uh, comfortably build some more houses well, if we have the food and water. And since wood is so hard to come by, um, and you use so much of it, we're going to mine coal for our fuel. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock mining with our, with our point there. And we need a, we need someone to go in work in our church. As soon as we're done planning this field, we're gonna go ahead and we'll put somebody in the church. We are, I am going to be uh, willing to micromanage uh, a bit in order to keep the progress going and get the best results from what little people we have. And one of the things that you can do is as soon as the crops are done being planted, you can go ahead and close your fields and then you don't need to bring your workers back again until the crops are ready to harvest. So there we go, we can go ahead and close these. This crop is gonna continue growing, you know, like plants do. And then we can put some people uh, in these buildings. They'll go out and gather materials for us. We're still short of something. Let's slow it down and figure out what we are. We're still short of wood. We have some queued up over here. But we're not producing food, so let's gather up some plants as well. Well, we are. We have uh, four hunters working on that, or three hunters working on that. Do I just want to do this? Let's, um... We're not gonna be able to uh, staff this forestry building, but I do wanna kinda get it in place because that'll kinda help me with the town hall. So let's pause that. And the town hall. Well, if we use this mountain, we probably want a road, so maybe there? Maybe there, let's hide the trees again. And we also want a cemetery. Now it is, you can be perfectly fine without putting in a cemetery. Uh, an eight by, the smallest cemetery that you can build is an eight by eight, but an eight by nine is uh, better because grave stones will be able to fill every dimension. So that's what we go with here. We're gonna pause this, oh, and pause this. Don't anybody get any crazy ideas? And what does that do? Yeah, and then, so all of this, I like the layout of this. Um, let's, sure, that works for me. There you go. So now we have a spot for our town hall, a graveyard, you can get by without a graveyard for a really long time. If someone dies, uh, they'll take a hit to happiness without the graveyard, their family will, uh, but they can drink some alcohol and uh, bring that right back up, <laughs> like you do. Okay, now mines are such a pain to lay out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that offline. I'm gonna put figure out some mines over here. The reason why they're a pain is because 
you cannot delete them at all. If you click the ground and it goes in, you can't reposition them. Uh, so I want to save the game before I start doing this and uh, just make sure I get everything perfect because I'm not going to be happy if I don't. <laughs> um, but with that, I think we're off to, well, no, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the crop in. That seems like a good idea. Um, the crops are at 91%. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and shut down the church. Oh, the grocery store. Good job. Let's uh, put these delicacies. We're going to sell these. We'll do them 100 at a time because the grocery store can only sell 100 items at a time. So uh, there's no reason to put more. And then we're also going to sell these lanterns because we don't need them right now. Uh, and by the time we do need them, we'll be making our own. So yeah, that is all stuff that we want to do. But let's close them. And what is that? Four people? We already closed the church. Let's close close it all down. We're going to close the clinic too. So we have five people. We're going to put all five people. We're going to open this field and let all five people harvest these crops. Not crops. Uh, well, yeah, crops, but flax, not food. That's for sure. We'll let them harvest that. And then as soon as they're done with the harvest, we'll put everyone back in their positions. I'm leaving our hunters out because they're probably wandering around and it would take them a long time to get to the field. Um, so we're, And plus they're producing food for us, so we're going to let them work. That's why we didn't close them. And these buildings up here, the people were already in the area, so it wouldn't be like such a stretch to get them to this field to harvest. And the reason why we're putting so many people on the field is because we have until 32 degrees to get this stuff in and at the early of the game people are not that efficient <laughs> so it takes them a long time i'm actually starting to lose my voice as i'm talking here uh, so we're going to be wrapping up this episode but i wanted uh, to get the crop in so we didn't have to worry about that and we're getting the message that it's time for uh, the crop to come in. In the next episode, um, off camera, I'm going to fiddle around and place the mines. Well, a mine. Um, so I don't make any mistakes that I'll regret because I'll be very upset. <laughs> I'll be very upset and not be able to continue if I do something wrong over there. Um... And we'll, the next episode, we'll go ahead and uh, start spending our, our tech points that are rolling in quite nicely. Come on, guys, you can do it. And where are they short wood? We still have wood queued up, though, don't we? Let's just make sure. Okay, and it's 34 degrees. This is why we're trying to do like a little overkill on the, on the fields, as many people as we have, so we can get the full harvest in. So there we go, we have, um, we have a nice stockpile of flax that we'll be able to use um, later on, and uh, it'll help us because we don't have to grow. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, this was plenty for one episode. Like I said, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> In the next episode, um, we'll keep filling out the town. We'll get some fuel, uh, which we're going to need because this fuel isn't going to last another winter. Uh, so yeah, that'll definitely be an issue. We'll get our town hall up and running um, so we're ready to take in immigrants. And yeah, we'll just keep playing the game. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate the likes and the feedback, comments. All of that is very lovely. If you wanted to subscribe, I would not be upset about that. 
if I took the game off 10 times speed, put somebody back in my church and the clinic, <laughs> that would be even better. But we'll keep it on pause and you can see, uh, you can see if we recover. <laughs> Everyone is, is very unhappy, low work efficiency, uh, they're sick. So yeah, we're doing great. Anyway, thanks again. Until next time. Bye-bye.